I just got done with making my recent YouTube video titled, I'll Just Wait for Summer. And in that video, I talked about how if you're not going to get on your hustle right now, what makes you think that you could get on your hustle during summertime? That was probably one of my first videos that I didn't feel like making. I genuinely was not motivated at all. 100% relying on my willpower to make that YouTube video. And the thing is, guys, it wasn't even that hard. All I had to do was press record and start talking. After the first 10 seconds, it was like starting any other YouTube video, motivated or not. I was, pro was going to finish the YouTube video. I was going to talk for 10 minutes and upload it. Motivation doesn't come before you record a YouTube video. Motivation doesn't come before your gym workout. Motivation comes after you're already in the gym and you hit your first set. Motivation for, my, for me making my last YouTube video was by pressing record and saying, What's up? This is Marcus Blake speaking on the on the recording, and I'm going to talk about summer in my t in today's video. After that, after that initial point, it was literally like I didn't need discipline anymore. I wasn't forcing myself to talk to the camera. It wasn't like, oh man, I have to do this. It was like that before I pressed record, but after the first ten seconds, I just went with it. Dude, when you're about to hit the gym workout and you don't feel like hitting the gym workout, you don't have to go throughout the whole gym session. All you have to do is show up at the gym. Use your willpower and your discipline. Grow a pair of balls. Get inside of the gym. Scan your QR code on the scanner. Boom. You're in the gym. What, are you going to fucking leave now? No, you're going to hit the rest of the workout. But you're not going to hit the entire two-hour workout solely relying on discipline and willpower. All you have to do is get inside of the gym. All you have to do is press the record button and talk for 10 seconds. After that initial barrier, motivation carries you throughout the entire, throughout the entire gym session. Today, I wrote down a list of the five things that I need to do to feel accomplished within my day. The first thing, the hardest thing, was recording the, late, the latest YouTube video. I'll just wait for summer. Then it was five minutes of some mental exercises. If you don't know what that is, the submental zone is the zone in, bet uh, in between your Adam's apple and your chin. It's like the flabby, you know, the one that chickens have. Is this thing. What some mental exercises do is it cuts down on that flab, strengthens the muscle so you have a sharper jawline. Because some people don't even have that high of a body fat percentage. They're not even fat, but they don't have a sharp jawline. And that's because of their cemental zone. We're always looking down at our phones, so cemental zones are getting weakened when we do that. And the cemental exercises is literally just your tongue. If you heard of mewing before, where you look up and you stick your tongue out, you look to the sides, sh shit like this, look. It sounds pretty stupid. It looks pretty stupid. But it gets rid of that flab right there, so that was five minutes of that today. The other thing was two minutes of neck exercises to get my neck bigger because it just makes you more attractive in general. The other thing was reading for 30 minutes. And the last thing was working on my dad's Facebook ads for an hour, trying to get him more clients for his tree service business. Basically, working an hour to make my dad more money so that we could buy, you know, go out more, go on more vacations, afford the mortgage, go out, uh, you know, more groceries, making my family richer, basically, using Facebook ads to get my dad more clients for his personal business. So those were the five things. The hardest thing was making that YouTube video. 
now that it's over with. And it wasn't even hard, bro. Like, I thought, bro, I was genuinely considering. I almost convinced myself I'm not going to make today's YouTube video. I just don't feel like it. And then I was like, and right now, as I'm speaking, it's uploading to YouTube. The, en the entire time leading up to that point of pressing the record button was me genuinely arguing with myself, debating on whether or not I should upload the YouTube video when the obvious answer was shut the fuck up, Marcus, record the YouTube video. But I was still trying to come up with excuses. I was telling myself, I'm a, I, um, I was telling myself, nobody watches your videos anyway. You get like 20 views. Nobody cares if you skip today's YouTube video. Just play Fortnite. That was, that was the voice that led me into the self-improvement complacency rut stage. Going back to the bad habits. That voice right there. I cannot trust my own brain, bro. I have to genuinely, because I know what the right decision is. I know the right decision is to stop skipping the gym sessions. I know the right decision was to make today's YouTube video. So I have to go throughout the right decision regardless of what the loser part of my brain tells me to do. Because what if I listen to that? I wouldn't have made today's YouTube video or tomorrow's YouTube video. I probably wouldn't have made this YouTube video right here. I just, I made two YouTube videos in like a, in, in less than an hour. All because I, cho I chose the right decision instead of following the stoop, instead of following the loser voice in my head. All I had to do was just go through the motions. I had to embrace the feeling of not feeling like it. And I just had to do it. The motivation doesn't come before the workout. It comes during the workout. All you have to do is scan the QR code on the scanner and you're good. This was Marcus Blake. I'll catch you boys later.